let me just turn on the light now there you go guys an absolute golden yellow tinted pair of fog lights for you i mean just look at it guys they are decent enough lights for the city use i don't think uh, anything more should be required while riding the bike uh, in, inside the city so hello and a very good morning youtube how is everyone i just hope that every one of you all are doing absolutely fine and i'm fine too yes i was a bit ill and hence uh, there was no update from my side so yes today i'm back with another video and yes it's regarding uh, the cb 350 and i plan to show you all and discuss about the auxiliary lights which are installed in my bike for a few months now they have been there for a couple of months around uh, two three months they are they have been there and they are doing the job really well so i just thought of you know uh, giving you all an update about the uh, work that they do in my bike and whether they are sufficient or not well you see these are the mad dog auxiliary lights which i have chosen for this particular motorcycle and yes they are the base model uh, they are uh, they are called the mad dog scout there are a couple of other options from their company as well like the mad dog scout x which is uh, there in my cbr and there are delta alpha and few other models as well uh, uh, this is the base model and this is the cheapest uh, one which is available from them so as you could see i'm talking about this particular light okay so as you could see there are three leds over here and each are of five watt so making it a total of 15 watts per setup so 15 watts over here and 15 watts over there is making it a complete 30 watt <laughs> so yeah they costed me around uh, 3750 rupees and also i had to purchase uh, the wiring harness from them i did not buy the wiring harness pro there's also another wiring harness which is available there are two options with regards to the wiring harness one is the wiring harness and the other one is the wiring harness pro which is a more rugged kind of uh, setup and also you need to purchase the switch uh, I had purchased the Switch Pro from them. Again, there's an option of a particular Switch and another Switch Pro. So this is the Switch Pro which you see over here. Just a normal jotter system over here. And all the wiring harness and everything is well breaded. They are of top notch quality, no doubt about that. And they really do their job really well. So the wiring harness had costed me around 1000 rupees and the switch pro over here uh, it costed me around 1500 rupees so yes guys uh, it is on the costlier side but it's a one-time investment guys and you do not need to cut any wires anywhere to install them they are just plug and play and that's pretty much it regarding the lights and uh, regarding the illumination guys as i uh, said these are the base models and it's not a very big wattage that you get out of these lights uh, so you shouldn't expect a lot of illumination on road at night but yes they do a decent job if you are primarily riding your motorcycle in the city so uh, you could very well do with these uh, that's what i feel uh, if you are a highway rider or if you take your motorcycle to the highways very frequently then these are not going to serve the purpose well for you that's for sure uh, i generally don't uh, ride in the highways at night that often i do go to the highways but i make sure that i ride during the day because that's when i enjoy the most i do not uh, like to ride on the highways at night generally so that's why i had opted for these uh, lights uh, because they really really do a very good job to eliminate the road in front of you at night because you see the stock headlight the stock headlamp which is provided by honda in this motorcycle uh, it is good but it is uh, not uh, enough for our indian roads 
which is filled with potholes and people all around so that's why i had to you know go ahead and uh, install an additional auxiliary light for my motorcycle uh, and yes they come with filters as you could see uh, the fog filter is uh, put on at the moment so if i remove it just like that you will be able to see uh, the light just like that so let me just put back the fog filter yes it is just that easy and it is a very snug fit guys so you do not have to worry about it being uh, falling off i have been riding with them for the last two months so no issues over there whatsoever it is not going to fall off and yes this is the stock uh, crash guard provided by honda i mean i had to buy it but it is provided by honda so there were already two holes drilled in the uh, crash guard over here i just had to you know uh, have this uh, particular clamp fabricated from a place and i had installed it over here so and then the light got installed on top of the clamp so that was an easy uh, thing to do and after that the connections they were pretty simple uh, you just had to you know uh, install the light over here and then uh, just plug in the wires which were provided in the wiring harness uh, all the as you could see the plug over here uh, this is the plug with that came from the light over here and also from that side this cable ran from over here and there is another plug over here as you could see and these are the plugs with that come with the wiring harness and the wiring harness is also equipped with a relay so now after that i had you know routed the cables from underneath the petrol tank and as you could see the wires are running from here and with the help of cable tie i had fastened them over here to the frame and then they came and all the wires are over here uh, in the wiring harness uh, there's a white wire which is provided that is uh, you know left open so that is the wire which you need to connect to the ignition so that the light becomes operational only when you turn the ignition on and not at all times so and that wire uh, is supposed to go inside the headlight dome and connect to the auxiliary output which is you know kept there by honda in the form of a plug a female plug so i couldn't find any male uh, socket for it so that's why what i did uh, and i also did not want to you know uh, uh, disturb the wiring harness inside the dome so that's why what i did uh, i took the white wire from the wiring harness and connected it to the fuse box with the help of the small uh, gadget you could say that goes inside the fuse one of the fuse and you know it gets connected to the white wire over here so this is another way through which you know you can uh, draw uh, the power from the ignition so uh, you could do it if you like it uh, this one is available over amazon i would try and put uh, the link to the particular product in the description and here as you could see the relay is there and the wiring harness is well tucked in over here on, uh, under the seat and the positive and the negative uh, terminal went to the battery inside this panel and got connected in the battery so that's pretty much it uh, regarding the connections uh, of the wiring and i would definitely show you all uh, the illumination of this light at night because there's no point uh showing you all during the day so i would definitely click another video my verdict regarding this uh, particular uh, light is you could use you could install this particular light uh, if only you uh, travel inside the city and not in the highways because these lights are not enough for the highways they do a very decent job in the city uh, to illuminate the road in front of you quite well uh, you could use the fog filter or you could use uh, the bare lights itself 
uh, they have a warm tone to it it's not a uh, milky white it's not a complete 6000 kelvin uh, color temperature it's uh, more of a uh, 5000 kelvin or you could say 5200 kelvin color temperature which uh, they throw out uh, so it's very warmish kind of a color tone that you're going to have from these lights which you would see at the end of this video i would be showing you all the light output with and without the filter so it will be clear to you all what exactly the light you know uh, is seen at night another reason uh, i had chosen this particular setup for this particular motorcycle because this motorcycle is equipped with a six amp hour battery uh, these lights they hardly consume any battery as they are only 30 watts in total so i have to take care of the power consumption as well and that's why i chose uh, these uh, particular light setups since they consume very little amount of battery power so i could keep them on all through the evening and night and i had you know uh, tuned them in their position in a way so i have a broader spectrum of light that is both the lights uh, i had you know tuned them a bit this one this side and the, uh, that one a bit that side so when they throw the light at night uh, i get a broader spectrum of light in front of me and the headlight being in front so it does the job pretty well you will see it in the video that i shoot at night uh, so yes guys that's pretty much it i have been using uh, this particular mad dog scout ox light for a couple of months and i have faced zero number of issues they are absolutely awesome product from uh, mad dog Yes, they are, they are a bit pricey. You get a lot of other options uh, available in the market uh, at this price range. But uh, I somehow liked their quality a lot. And the power consumption is also very less. And uh, in any which ways, uh, riding inside the city, you do not need any, uh, you know, extra vacant amount of light in front of you. So that's why I had chosen this particular setup to give me uh, the exact amount of wattage I require uh, for riding the motorcycle in the city. So that's it guys, I hope you liked the video and I just wanted to share this particular, you know, information with you all that these Mad Dogs lights, they really do a very good job as claimed by the company. And if you're interested, then you could definitely, you know, visit their website and purchase uh, your uh, required product from there they have a whole lot of uh, products over there they also uh, have clamps for not for this bike but for some other motorcycles like the himalayan the ktm the dominar they have uh, custom made clamps uh, which is tailor made for that particular bike so you could also go with those clamps uh, that will solve the issue of you know mounting uh, the lights so that's it guys i hope you like the video uh, if you like the video do give it a thumbs up and please stay tuned as the video where i will show the illumination of the light is coming up have a great day ahead guys so yes guys uh, it's now time to show you all how the mad dog scout auxiliary lights show up at night uh, now the bike is uh, turned off at the moment so all the lights are off now let me just uh, turn on the ignition and the headlight is going to come up so we have the headlights on now as you could see the headlight uh, has illuminated the road to some extent I don't know uh, there is a difference in the actual output and how it is being captured in the camera but still i'm sure you you all will figure that out so let me just turn on the auxiliary lights now there as you could see it has pretty well illuminated the front of the bike actually i had you know tuned the position of the light in a way so that you know it gives me a broader uh, spectrum over here so as you could see now the road in front of me is absolutely lit so let me just take you around and give you all a glimpse from a different angle so now the uh, filter is off I mean the light is absolutely on its own without any filter in front of it So 
so as you could see that some amount of light is getting uh, you know uh, eaten up uh, by the uh, fork but nonetheless the actual output which is coming out is more than enough for city use guys uh, i believe uh, this output is more than enough and maybe you know uh, some occasional highway rides could also be possible i mean if it is not a hardcore highway you could uh, you know ride the bike with this particular setup no problem whatsoever and let me just show you in the meter console it is still 12.6 and the bike is off at the moment the bike's engine i mean is off at the moment so current consumption is also not that much that's a good thing that's something which i really you know wanted because that is something which uh, you know bugs me uh, at the back of my mind uh, since auxiliary lights there are various kinds of auxiliary lights available in the market uh, which consume a lot of energy from the battery i didn't want it to drain my battery out of these auxiliary lights so that's why i opted for this particular setup which you know hardly consumes anything as you could see the bike is turned off at the moment and still there is not much voltage which is consumed so uh, there you go guys this is the mad dog scout auxiliary lights for you now let me just you know uh, put on the filter let me just turn off the light once and then put on the filter which is the you know uh, this is the fog filter which i generally you know uh, keep it on all the time because they really you know i like the color tone which they produce but it's up to you if you install this particular setup it's up to you whether you want to you know uh ride with the filters on or without it but i would definitely like to you know ride with the filters on since the color temperature it produces is really amazing so uh, yes guys uh, the filters are now on i had installed the fog filters and let me just turn on the light now there you go guys an absolute golden yellow tinted pair of fog lights for you i mean just look at it guys they are decent enough lights for the city use i don't think uh, anything more should be required while riding the bike uh, in, inside the city yes in the highway you might need a better uh, set of fog lights but if you are riding uh, mostly in the city and given the kind of low illumination which is there in the stock headlamp of this particular motorcycle so i think the the bike requires a pair of fog lights which should be you know uh, decent enough to you know assist the headlight while riding in the city and these pair of fog lights do a very good job in you know doing that this is the front view guys as you could see the fog light is now with the uh, the ox light is now with the uh, fog filters so that's how they look from in front and this is the look from the side just look at it guys i really like this yellow tint i really like them so that's it guys uh i hope uh you all had a good understanding of this particular you know pair of fog lights uh how you know it looks at night 
I just wanted to make this video uh, so that it is easy for you all to understand. This may be the base model, uh, you know, sold by Mad Dog, but still, they really uh, do a very good job as long as you're riding inside the city. Yes, if you ask me if I go outside uh, or if I ride in the highway at night, which I generally don't, uh, then of course, uh, I think I would have to upgrade these lights to a better ones. Maybe, you know, Delta or maybe some other model uh, from Mad Dog and they will be a straight fit plug and play. I just, I just need to remove these and install them and then plug. The plugs and sockets are all the same, so there should not be any issue whatsoever. So other than that i believe uh, these are just awesome so that's it guys i hope you like the video uh, stay tuned for more such informative and uh, interesting videos coming up soon and please take care everybody have a very good night bye bye